guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we're gonna do some Dollar Tree DIYs for Christmas. And these DIYs are gonna be specifically for a tiered tray in size, but you can honestly decorate anywhere you want with them. So I'm not gonna show you all the materials we need because everything is a little different, but I will show you as we go what I'm using for each product and each project. First things first, I just have a piece of cardstock. It's a little thicker. I'm going to move that out of my way. It's a little thicker than regular construction paper, but you can use any paper you want, including poster board. So what I'm going to do is make a Christmas tree shape, a cone. I do have my hot glue gun here, which I think I'm going to bring to this side just to make it easier to grab. And I have my piece of paper and I'm just cone rolling it into a cone, right? And then I kind of let it go a minute. I want it to start getting that shape. Then I'm gonna do it again. But this time I'm not gonna let it go too far. And you just kind of give it a different shape, right? Then I'm gonna take hot glue right here and just hold it in place. And you really wanna just do this and allow the hot glue to cool off, okay? So that takes a second for that to cool. While that's cooling, I can take a pair of scissors and I want to just cut the bottom off. I don't know how short I wanna make this one, but it's just to show you, I already have a cone made for the right size. And you can buy, depending on how much tight or loose you wrap your cardstock, will determine what size your cone is. It doesn't matter if your tip is open or not. So we have this one. Now I did this, if you don't have a glue gun, use tape. I did this one with tape. The pro one product I have that I did not get at the Dollar Tree, but they do sell is yarn. They're just not gonna sell this specific chunky yarn. And this is like, blanket yarn. It's very thick if you want to see. It's about as thick as my finger, but you don't have to use just this specific yarn. This is just what I am choosing to use because I like a thicker yarn. So we are, oops, that's hot. We are just going to get the tip going. And of course you want to let it cool for a second. And then I'm gonna get some more glue. And I know I've seen people lately hauling glue guns from the Dollar Tree. Like what? I have not seen them at mine yet. But I have heard that people are getting them. And then I'm just gonna do this. Now, if you do not want this fluffy like I'm doing, and you have more of a farmhouse look to your home, totally do it with rope. You could do this with nautical rope. You could do this with um, plain yarn. You can do it with twine or that um, the more rough brown. I know in the crafters, like the car section, they have paracord and that paracord comes in all different colors. So really it just depends on what color tree you want. You could also wrap this with garland. Um, any garland that they sell at the Dollar Tree or anywhere really. I mean it doesn't have to be Dollar Tree. Mine just happens to be because I have a Dollar Tree channel. I'm using Dollar Tree products. But as I have said before, Dollar Tree is not always the most, you know, cost effective place. I'm just holding it till the, cool, till the glue has a chance to cool off. This yarn here it was a little more expensive, but I bought it for a different project. And so I use it as much as I can also because, you know, let's not be wasteful. And you can do more glue than what I'm doing, less glue. You just do whatever makes sense to you. And then scissors to cut it off. And then I'm just going to the first wrap and the last, you wanna make sure you get very 
very tight in here and make sure it's and I over glued but that's fine and there's our Christmas tree like isn't that crazy how easy that is and it will stand up but I'll leave it laying down so you can see and I don't need this yarn anymore or all the yarn fluff now I have these berry garland they have been coming out with them every season and I know they sell them at multiple stores I happen to have gotten these at the Dollar Tree last year but again I know they have them and they're so pretty and I just want to attach here at the bottom of the back just kind of give it a second to cool and I'm gonna wrap it lightly around I don't want it tight and quite frankly I'm not even um, gluing it to be honest with you I just did a quick ah, a quick wrap around the tree and I want to make it not super tight but enough of a bend in the wire that it holds its spot. And then I'm just going to glue this right here and hold it down. And remember, we always have our um, silicone mask spatulas, right? Isn't that cool? And because it's wired, it's not going to move. So I used maybe half of this, maybe. So put that away. Now, I'm going to get a little crazy. You do not have to do this. But I took one of the gnomes on a stick. I decided I needed a gray one. And the inside is styrofoam, just as a heads up. And the, I just pulled out the stick. Now, I could leave the stick in. And especially if you had a bigger hole in the top, you could, like, leave the stick in. But I did not. But I want to glue him on here. And I'm doing a gnome at the top of my tree. Now, the other thing I would like to do whilst I have this open is really just get rid of some of this styrofoam so that I can glue it down and get the head onto the um, to the tree better see just like that and then I'm just going to Give ourselves a good old bunch of glue up top. Leave his beard folded over. And then it's going to go on. Plop the glue down. And then I'm just going to hold it in place and let it dry. There are a gazillion ways that you can decorate this tree and different color combinations. I have some other things here, like I have some greenery I could attach. Um, I have some miniature pine cones. There's all kinds of, of different things. So we're gonna let him cool off for a minute. I'm going to maybe add a little more glue up under here in the back just to make sure he's held in place and then i will show you the finished product guys i love my gnomeo little tree he's so cute and then my little ceramic gnomes down here that i painted also but look at him he's so cute you could put anything on this tree you like but i like the gnome and he is gonna go in my tear tray next so I hope up i took one of these wooden signs does come that you can hang it it's just like I think this is like a birch if I had to guess but I just took one of the wooden signs and I took some of these wooden snowflakes I filled the hole 
on everything with some of this lightweight spackle and let it dry. And then I sanded it down and spray painted my snowflakes. And I only need to spray paint one side. So I made them white, snowflakey. And my thing is I wanna make like a front porch sign for my tear tray, you know, like the leaning signs. So I painted it black just because I feel like on my tiered tray, you maybe see things from behind. So it's just a piece of that wood. They also had other sizes, but this is what's gonna work for my tray. Now I'm just gonna glue my snowflakes on and they're gonna hang over a little bit and I'm absolutely fine with that. So now you, you guys know I'm an even kind of girl, right? So I'm just gluing that there. I mean, how easy is this? And these, I needed some tall things to go into my tear tray because it's kind of deep. Now I am gonna make it so it's not so deep, but I want some, I'm just letting these dry. And I have a thread here from the glue that I do not want to attach. There we go, that's for my Cricut. And then I have my middle piece. You can paint these obviously any color you like, any style, you can use any wood shape, anything you like. But what I like about filling these, the holes is yeah, I can see them up close, but I'm not gonna see them far away. But that's what it's gonna look like. You could totally leave it like that. But what I did is I took some of the wooden letters and I painted them red. And we're gonna have the word joy on my snowflakes, right? And I'm just gonna put the letter, and again, any color combination that matches your life. And this doesn't have to be for Christmas either. You could take different shapes and make a different sign for any season that you would like. And I just glued my, my Y. And now we have Joy. And it just needs to dry. And again, if I feel like it, I may add a little, like a little greenery at the top or ribbon or bows. It doesn't matter. I'm not a huge bow person. I mean, I don't use bows, don't get me wrong. But for this, I didn't want a bow. I just wanted it to be kind of plain because it's gonna sit up in the back somewhere. Now, um, you may not see the Y. It depends how deep my tray is or your tray, but you could also just, oops, just lean this up against your mantle on your counter, hang it, anything that you want. But we're gonna let this dry. I do have some extra glue in here that kind of overflowed a tad bit. So I'm gonna get that out of here. And if this happens, let it dry. And then just take something kind of pokey and you can plop out, pick out the glue. If you catch it when it's still hot, you're gonna end up with glue strings everywhere, which again is fine. You just pull them off when you let it dry. But I will show you an up close and personal when it's dry. And there's our little joy sign. Oh, that is adorable. If that was bigger, I would totally lean that on my front porch. But again, it's gonna go in my tiered tray somewhere and it's gonna bring that pop of height and color that I need. Along with our little skiing Nomeo guy and these black ornaments I grabbed at Halloween time um, which is now, so if you see them in your store and you're thinking you would like to do a black and red theme, I would grab those ornaments now, right? Next sign we're gonna make, I took one of these, I think it's, I love fall most of all. Um, it was a bunch of glitter. I scraped the glitter off with a paint scraper. You can sand it or whatever. I took off the twine and I took off the metal. This is the Dollar Tree vinyl. I drew it on the back and cut it out. You could just lay it, attach it, and then take a straight edge. I can't find my straight edge. So I kind of had to do it the hard way. And this is just a scrap I had left from another project. But it's not necessary to have a whole bunch. And it's not necessary to go 
all the way up here because I'm gonna put that metal piece back on. So I only cut it like this shape. Now, if you wanna be really good about it, what you could do is put, um, paint this base black, right? And I'm just unpeeling the top. Oops, I wanna go the other way. And by the top, I mean the bottom. These projects, guys, are so quick and easy, but they will make a statement in my tiered tray. All right, I'm just lifting it off here. Um, what I like to do is just get a good line up. And because this vinyl is pretty thin, this is one of the benefits. It really lays out good. And then you can just take it. Now, if it's over a little bit, you can take a sander, sanding block or anything like that to it. But now I don't even have to paint, done. Now my colors, I should paint this black and I will go back and paint it black, but for now we'll pretend. And then I'm just gonna take hot glue and attach the top of the mason jar down, right? Just like that. I bought these last year. I've not seen them this year yet, but I'm sure they'll come out. These are little metal snowflakes ornaments that you can use like on the tiny trees. They do have a hole, but I'm okay with that. And this I also found at the Dollar Tree. It's like a, it was in the party section, but it looks like a poinsettia to me. So that's what I'm using it like. And it came with some like ribbon, but anything will work. And for my, for my um, color scheme of red and black, this works perfect. And then I'm just gonna add a couple snowflakes right here and here. Ow, oh, I reached in and touched it and let that dry. So I have that all done. Now something I bought at Hobby Lobby. These are just little holly leaves with the berries attached. And I'm wondering if one will look good Ow. I keep saying ow because I keep poking myself, guys. These are pokey little things. Okay. I wonder if that'll look nice right there. And I think it will. So what I'm going to do is snip this off. I love my wire nips, guys. This was like the best $4 purchase I ever made, wire nips. And then I'm gonna put some glue and I just wanna lift it and put it right there. And let it sit. I love that. Um, this way. So we have the bow, you can use anything you want, but this is actually like fabric lace and then my snowflakes in that, and I could put like the year. I will go back and touch it up a little bit with some black along the side at some point, but not right now. Let this dry, and I will show you in a minute what it looks like. And here's our little mason jar that we did. I love the 3D texture of that big old bow with the snowflakes. And I think this is really gonna be a statement buried in my tray that you'll have to look to find but it was so easy and so fun to make. So I hope you took some inspiration and create one of your own. Next up, I was so excited to find these different sleds. So they had this one, they had the same shape, but it had like slats in it. I wanted this one because I figured I could do like a decoupage or something on here. Sorry, it's a little close. They're sleds, but they're big guys. But the one I'm doing today, look at the size of this. 
I've already colored it just because it's easier. And I did change the natural cording with some green um, twine that I had. Now, looks like I stained it, but I used these markers. These are from the dollar spot. No, the, the Dollar Tree in the hardware section. And these are furniture repair markers and they make it look like you have stained your wood. Now this has a little red over it. I dry brushed. I just wanted it to look more like a radio flyer, but this is walnut. I used these. My hint to you is store them tip down. And if you're filling it in, you're coloring and coloring and it looks like it's not going to finish, let it sit upside down for a while and some more of the, the um, ink, for lack of a better term, will sink, go to the tip. But they have them in two different packs, a dark pack and a light pack. Oh, my hands are all painted up. And I just colored them. It was so much fun and so easy. So we did that. I have two boxes of two packs. They come with three colors, a walnut a black and a mahogany and the mahogany is going to be a little more red to it which would almost be like this color here that i just added red you paint them whatever color you want i just wanted to show you how those furniture repair markers make your wood look like it's stained and they're putting out so many so many raw wood products this season that i figured we really needed to do something here so i did go ahead and stain it or paint it or whatever first then I took these bells. Now this little, I bought these last year, I think on clearance at Joanne, but they're just little bells. You can do whatever you want. I took some of these bells and then I took a piece, I cut off of one of these frosted greens from the Dollar Tree. And I just tied them together with a little baker's twine to make a little bundle. So I want to attach it right here on my sled right super easy and we're going to put that right in here i was going to use my my little silicone doodah to hold it because i'm tired of burning myself you know and these little bells are um on a wire so you can bend them around but we have that there i should have nipped that but i didn't it's okay it's okay now i made a little bow but if you don't want to make one, they sell these mini bows that are glittery, but the fallout doesn't, it doesn't fall out. How fun is that? Those are so easy. Also at Dollar Tree, and this is from last year. These are like little mini velvet bows. You could use those. And then also from Dollar Tree last year, I found these little berries that you could use in here also. Any of these little picks and berry stuff work perfect. And then I bought this year at the Dollar Tree, just this little bag. They had it in white and gold and it has like a little bit of piece of the berry garland, some other little berries. It's just a little mix bag, a piece of pine cone and a piece of pine, I mean, and then pine cones. So we're not out of for lack of trying, we have not run out of materials from the Dollar Tree. But this was just the bow I created. Again, I've told you a hundred thousand times, you're probably sick of hearing it. I'm going with a black and red theme this year. And I think for my tiered tray, this is going to be ideal. And this is just a little pine cone that I wanna stick in the middle of the bow. And that's it. I mean, that is how simple I'm going to decorate this. These kind of look like antenna to me. So I'm going to fold them back out straight. There we go. And I will obviously let this dry and then I'll bring you in for a closer look. I mean, I could just do these berries. These are bigger. These are, I think, two twisted together. The smaller ones are three twisted together. And these I got last year, but I know they had them out this year for um, fall and Halloween. All right, let this dry and I will show you a better view of Guys, that. is that not the sweetest little sled? I'm obsessed. I'm gonna have to go buy more sleds and paint them all the colors and have some for my next color scheme. But look at it, it's so cute. It would be perfect in a wreath 
in a tray, laying on a counter, on your mantle, with some candles next to it. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and I'm going to need some more. But I love it, and I hope you do too. Okay, friends, the last thing I'm going to do is show you. I have this little Santa ornament here, just the plastic. Now, we've all seen them fill it with the floor polish, dump it out, put the glitter in. I'm going to do something a little different. I saw this idea on Pinterest, but I feel like it was on TikTok too. Uh, but I did want to tell you also, you could fill these with these little base filler, especially the bigger ones, the big bulbs. Let me see if I can find my big bulb. Here it is. This big boy here, you could fill... With vase filler, you could fill it with pom-poms. Like, there's a whole bunch of things. I just wouldn't make it too heavy. That's the one thing I would avoid on that front. But what I'm going to do, and I'm also using one of the Dollar Tree little velvet bows I showed you. Now, I'm going to do, this is going to take some time to dry. Like, 24 to 48 hours. Ew, that's too big. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to do a little something, something here. So first what we're going to do, if your cup is too big like mine, is so we're going to take, I don't think that's a big enough piece of tape, but I just have scotch tape dispenser here, and I'm going to put some tape that way, and I have another one similar to this done already to show you. Um but I just want to show you how I did it. Oh, not big enough. These tape dispensers I get at the Dollar Tree are fantastic too, especially for gift wrap. And then I buy Scott tape or Scotch tape, I suppose is the better term. I think that's better. Yeah, okay. You want it to be able to hang upside down, I guess is my point here. But what you do, it's almost like a paint pouring technique. I'm just shaking up my red and my black because why? I'm decorating my house with red and black this year. And for this one, I would do more red than black, but you're just pouring in some red. And then we're gonna pour in a little black. And then we're just gonna turn it. And we want it, you can use as many colors as you want. Um, I will tell you if you put too, too many colors, you're gonna end up probably with a brown. We need some more red. And you can shake it, you can swirl it, put your hand over it. You just wanna make sure that you go slow. and you cover everything, right? And then when it's done, so you're gonna get all different colors of swirling going on in here. I don't want too, too much, sorry, paint, but I need a little more red because the black is very overpowering, obviously. And look at your, oops, sorry, I was out of focus. And look, he's got this big red slop, this rig, big red line going up the side. So you can probably take a um, paint stick or a skewer of some sort and kind of get up in here and help your paint kind of wipe off a lot of that red and come back at it with the black and you know you can use a q-tip you can use whatever you want this is definitely oops fun for the kiddos and then you turn it upside down and you need to let it sit upside down until it dries now the one I did today, I turned it upside down and let it dry, but I turned it over after a while that I felt like all the paint had drained out of it. 
that was loose and then I put it in front of a fan my desk fan and that's the one I'm going to show you that I finished uh, but this is acrylic paint you don't want to use like the pour paint it's too thin definitely want to use an acrylic this is just 50 cent paint I think from Walmart maybe a dollar paint I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, but it's cheap paint from Walmart or Michaels of some sort oops I bumped you and then when it's dry, you just put the cover back on. I'm just trying to wipe up paint here, guys. I got paint all over my desk. And then you just put your cap back on and hang it. But you want to let it dry for several days, for sure. And look at that swirl that I got in Santa. I hope you can see it, the red. And when it dries, it'll look a little more swirly. Look at his little face. I just love it. So this I will leave overnight to dry. And let me show you what the finished product looks like. Now this is the other ornament I did. And I hope you're seeing the swirls. I used a metallic, like a bronze color in here with the red to give it the swirl. I'm telling you, this would be super cool for Halloween too. Do like a black with a gray inside to do like smoke. I think that would be fantastic. Now, I don't have the top on it yet. The bow's going to stay, but I'm letting these dry for 24 to 48 hours before I cap them up and call them done. Um, the paint does need to completely dry on the inside, but I'm pretty impressed with how a little paint swirling turned out, and I hope you are too. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.